MSM analysis stream, and it's all wrong. Yeah, it, it shambles. It shambles. You <laughs> Everything I talked about was not even close. Pointless. Not even close. <laughs> There's way too much on the line for consistency, okay? Yeah. But speaking of consistency, you said it. Louis Money bring out this Palu, and if you're going to pick a character that's consistent, this is the one. This character collects the bag. Man, already off to a good start. I actually do like the Palu specifically against uh, the Power Mithra recovery. That down tilt is still very active. Uh, it can definitely snag that up B if he times it correctly. And yeah. you know, hitting a down tilt at the ledge with Palu is usually a good, a good play. You got to be careful though. Uh, if Mithra is like pretty close to the ledge, she'll you know shoot out a hitbox above the ledge. That should be the KO here. Doesn't go for the up smash. Maybe popped a little too high there. So Cosmos opting oh. for the back air. But another back air will definitely do the trick. I, you told me about the back air in the previous Cosmos set, but wow, seeing the way he's spacing it now to like hit it so much more consistently, that move is so strong. It, and is it doesn't really powerful. seem like there's super huge risk of throwing it out when you're well spaced, so it could be a very strong whip punish to us, we just saw. Gets the reset, but doesn't get the fair, the dash attack misses, but able to still scoop it up and get the combo 62%. Oof. Cosmos is not done yet. This damage is just flinging off the charts right now. Up fair is not enough. Nice, retreating to the platform there for Cosmos. Louis Money trying to see if he can beta air dodge maybe, but yeah, great maneuverability for Cosmos here. And still continuing to win neutral with the Mithra until it's pirate time. Okay. Yeah, like, you just see that Mithra just zooming around the map so, so quick. I like the overshoot there, and oh. Almost got the shield poke or the shield break there. I don't blame Cosmos for going for it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely could have got the KO as well. But man, that, that move does not have a lot of shields. And he was able to drop shield down smash. And it was like, looked like a pretty solidly timed punish there. So, oh, cool. but we're overshooting again. The great DI coming out from Luis. I just like the mix up of like getting leisure overshooting with Pyro. I feel like it always takes his opponent by off guard. No double jump, the teleport, the trump. Ooh. But just going to get the Nair there. Uh, Paul Tana definitely, like, if you hold in, you'll just, like, end up on stage. Very broken. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, but offstage on. scenario. Nope, not a good timing on the down two. Oh, wait. So you're not a little bit wild with that up smash. You know wait. what? I've had enough, Pyro. <laughs> yeah, but this could also backfire pretty bad if Cosmos makes a mistake. Just kidding. <laughs> right when you say that, Luis commits into the dash grab, and Cosmos just hopping all over the place, able to get the whiff punish with that back air. Oh, wow. We were trying to get a lane chop at the forward smash. Cosmos not having any of it. In case you guys forgot, I have better bats within. <laughs> yep, yep, there it is. We even, I even see uh, Cosmos kind of doing some spot dodges while ledge trapping too, just in case the opponent swings out some kind of move. Yeah, because you see people kind of like parry flicker, right, to get, get up attack. Yeah. What if you just did wish time instead? Oh, oh my, speaking well, of it. You don't well, want to, like, off stage though, you know. All right. We don't, we don't want foresight then. Yeah. <laughs> What, what, is it? what are the chances of that? That was funny. We were gassing up Forsyth yeah. so hard. Yeah, like, we were. Dang. My narrative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice tech chase from Louis Money. Ooh, up air, up air. Oh, I don't know about using a nair reset there. That seemed like a safe time to just go for more up airs. Oh, oh hold on, no. You're, oh, doesn't connect it. I for sure thought Luis I, was done there. Yeah, I've seen that dare hit some ridiculous recoveries. I thought he was gone for. Another chance of life. Uh, nice up tilt answer here, though. Yeah, and that, that move is the one for Pyro. I, I, I see even a lot of uh, Japan players, a lot of the, you know, like Spargo, um, Cloudy, Leo, they'll really just, that, it's kind of like the tried and true move to get the KO, I feel. You remember back when Diddy's up tilt was a very fast, like, Oh, yes. Combo that, move and kill move? Yeah. Yes. I feel like I that's that. what that is, but with more range. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even, like, all, I feel like all pirate tilts are pretty solid. Like, even the four tilt, obviously, on normal getup and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I feel like in neutral, a lot of pirates will get that as a yeah. KO. Just, like, turn around and get that anti-air hit, right? A lot of people love jumping Very quick ultimate. as well. Yeah, yeah. Not as telegraphed as an up smash anti-air. Cosmos taking the game number one. This is winner's quarters, and since it is just the local, uh, it is yeah, We got best. work tomorrow, man. Yeah, we got stuff to do, all right? <laughs> but yeah, it is best of three. Semis onward in both winner's and loser's bracket. That is the best of five territory here at MSM. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like the neutral air dodge. Very slippery coming out from Luis. Going to be able to get back on stage, but... Look at Cosmos just keeping the paint on, but the Pyro's oh, out. What a brilliant tech chase from Louis Money. I like the fair one. Wait for the uh, roll in, get the grab. 
didn't get too much off of it, but it just shows that he's paying very close attention to how Cosmos is moving in neutral. Okay? Yeah, and when you when you hit Pyra, it's a lot more rewarding because you don't have to worry about that foresight in disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, gets out of the second hit, but no punish. Oh, oh man, the dares are swinging. I'm seeing Cosmos swing dare a lot more commonly with Pyra, and now I'm scared for Louis Money. Because <laughs> one dare is <laughs> he's probably gone. Oh, okay. you have to go for the side. No, oh, double there switch. There it is. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. The down tilt, like you were saying earlier, going to get the two frame. Going to combo into the back air. Louis Money at 151%. But Interesting the angle, yeah. But there it is again. Hey, hey we talked about that move. <laughs> Good. That one move. That's the one. Okay, back to even here. Attacking on some damage. Catches the air dodge. No, just going to reset back onto the platform here. Some weird trades, but very back and forth. Ooh, no tech chase on the explosive flame. I like the idea, but just out of sight of range. Great movement with Mithra, honestly. That's one of the beauties of this character. Sometimes you can win neutral with Mithra's speed alone, get stage control, and then that's when you can start switching to Pyra in the corner. Using that speed, using that reaction, you will get a lot out of it when it comes with Mithra. I mean, honestly, any fast-moving character. That's generally the game plan, right? It's the Nair. And that Nair, it is a little laggy, like ultimate laggy on short hop, but honestly, it, it's so big. It covers so much area. It really just be, it, it, it wins out a lot of air to air exchanges. Kind of similar to uh, that other character on the screen. Yeah, it's a better Falunair, <laughs> okay? We get what you're trying to say. We get it. We get it. <laughs> this character's DLC, we get it. <laughs> double okay. jump. There's no double jump here. Ooh, I like Wait, the upbeat. Wait, another bar. opportunity? There yeah. it is. Yeah. He's hitting these down tilts at the ledge a lot more consistently. And his hip, especially hitting it on Pyra, especially, is very good for him. There's a great string from Louis Money. Carry him to the other side and says, the empty hop grab, suddenly in a really good position. Gonna let him get a little bit of the stage back, but I guess he's supposed to start zoning with the projectiles. Not a really bad idea. Yeah, Louis just didn't want to commit too hard there. Um, mm -hmm. Just wanted to test Cosmos, see if Cosmos would, you know, run in, you know, make a very hasty decision. Nonetheless, Louis still with this lead, 106 or 111 percent right now. Uh, these he empty is. hop grabs are putting in work for Louis Money right now. But mm -hmm. holding down again, not gonna get the kill. Wow. Beautiful DI, especially if it's cross stage like that. You can hold like down and right in that scenario and you'll live pretty long. Okay, good to know. All right, time's the, tries the time the, change of the timing on his recovery, oh. so he has to go low. Yeah, staggering on the pressure, calls out the jump. Nice stuff from Cosmos, but <laughs> did you forget about this move? Because I did. There's the anti-air up smash, yeah. immediately covering the jump. Had all the invincibility from driving from the Angel platform. He had so much cards in his playbook with that right there. Yeah, that's, that's the Rich Brown. Come off the Angel platform yeah. and just up smash. It is. It actually is, right? It's it pretty funny. Is. But Luis didn't do that move the entire set, no. so pulling out of the pocket, closing out game number two. So here we are again, Strides. Game, game three. Game three, man. We saw it with Karama earlier versus Sind. We have this game three scenario. Midwest versus NorCal. Cosmos versus that's true. Luis. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Another regional battle here, MSM. Duking it out in SoCal game three. These guys want to put on for that number one spot of Summit. Let's see what's going to happen here. Louis Money has been getting a lot more punches on Cosmos' defensive habits. I've been seeing him change up the timing of his aerials with his stagger timings. You saw right there again with the four air slightly delayed. And I think that's really throwing off Cosmos right now in neutral. He's like mixing up not just the timing of his aerials, but also throwing in like empty Jump grab as well with Palu. Yeah, and Palu usually can comfortably land with Nair, uh, mm. but against that Mithra up air, not too well. There's a directional air dodge. Luis looking Ooh, good. Catches the left. out the jump. That's a big lead if you're Palu. That's two for two. Yeah. Two for two on these up smash. That, that's not ain't an easy move to hit. Oh, man. Louis Money, I think he's starting to see a little bit of blood in the water. This is a great start for him. Yeah, and even I, I was talking with Louis Money before he came up. I mean, before we hopped on the mic and all that jazz. Uh, he he actually think, doesn't think that highly of Pyra and Mithra. Oh, Thinks okay, they're that's... still like solid top tiers, but he definitely feels like their recovery is very, very exploitable. That, def that confidence definitely helps you out in a set like this versus the best Pyra and Mithra player right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it, 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 we'll, we'll definitely see how this character meta develops, but right now, Luis looking very comfortable versus the character. Yeah, sure. there it is. Another empty hop, down throw, back air, covering the ledge very well. Okay. These Tomahawks have been doing yeah. so much work for Luis. Definitely. 
I, you know what I think? I think Palus have... Oh, nice that smash that shield, though. Yeah, you can't... <laughs> can't be getting a little bit too hasty on this character's shield, especially when power is out. That yeah. smash scoop is crazy and is very, very strong. Very strong. Not incredibly fast, but Palu dash attack. You know, most dash attacks are pretty committal. Mm -hmm. oh, All right, so... Oh, hold on. Here comes the ledge trapping nice. now. The Mithra ledge trapping is so strong. Down tilt, Ooh. one of the best ledge trapping tools in the game, in my opinion. Oh, definitely. It's uh, very reminiscent of Fox up tilt from uh, Smash Bros. Yes, very, Bros. another very broken move in that game. And look at this. Look at the yep. damage. Just kind of seamlessly just yep. tacked on. Already 87%. That forward smash, very large and very, uh, I mean, not too much lag. The Cosmos doing an incredible job of bringing this back. There's that great nair you were talking about, getting the poke. Oh, Louis Mai again with these empty hops, finds the back throw. Can he get the edge guard on this character? He said he doesn't think highly of the recovery, but to the platform here. Oh, he's staying mid right here. He wants to keep the safe gameplay going. Not going to try to go uh, power in this situation. Ooh. That shield, yeah, incredibly low. It's looking low. Nice. Okay, there's the dash stack. Oh. The explosive flame not going to connect, and I don't even know oh. if he can shield the explosive flames. Okay, here's the teleport. Not going to get the two Nice. Frames. Wow, what a reaction from Cosmos. Wow, he got punished for that in the previous game, but he had it there, especially when he needs it. Great comeback from him. Louis Money looked in full control, and now suddenly Cosmos in the driver's seat. Yeah, all with solid Mithra play. Yeah, just really reacting very well in those windows. There's the Nair. There's the up air, just beating out all these aerials. You have to respect me. You have to go for this neutral air dodge. But Luis finally finds his way down, lands the back air. Not too much. Very, very close game. Okay. Oh, I think for Nair, they're interesting. Louis Money finds an opening. Tech chase here with the double up air. Gets a drag down up air. Oh, okay. falls through the platform and the back air as well. I love the mix. Platform. Playing really safe here. Ooh, directional air dodge on to the center platform as well. Both these players, I love how they're just operating around these platforms. Definitely. Cosmos definitely needs it a little bit more, though. Having great platform movement to avoid getting shot by Palu, very crucial in this type of situation. But the platforms are gone. We're going to play a little bit more neutral here. At the ledge versus Palu. Or sorry, oh my Pyra. The Pyra's down oh, up smash. Oh, he didn't time it correctly, but sneaks in the job. Very scary position to be in. He hasn't been power for a minute, but oh. just let's jump straight to the, the stage. But there's that F tilt again. The F tilt. Fire F tilt. Out. My goodness, what a, it's just so back and forth. And he, I, I was very surprised when we saw the switch to Pyra because Mithra was the one that.